people caring for people. Compassion. That's the foundation Gotham was built on. And I have proudly built Golf Corp on that same foundation. That's why we're called the People Company. Thank you so much. Please. Mr. Boyle seems to be after your title as Gotham's biggest philanthropic industrialist. Gotham needs more people like him. Bruce! Hey. <laughs> I am blown away by your support. It's well deserved. You're going to change the world, Ferris. Hey, we'll change it together, right? Pardon me, Mr. Boyle. The press is waiting. Well, this way, please. I'd say the future is looking hmm. very, very bright for Gotham. Now, it's almost midnight, and you all know what that means. Let's get this New Year's Eve party going with the... Whew. Forget to pay your heating bill, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't worth something. Oh, look at the rich boy. So long, Bruce. Let's dance, great boy. I've been through worse. These are Penguin's men. What do they want with Ferris? I'm not sure. They're being led by someone in a mechanized suit. I need to find Ferris before they do. Well, you're no use to us dressed like that. You need to put on your other suit. The closest entrance to the back. There's Bruce. He'll help us. Bruce. Bruce, do you have a minute? Someone said an iceberg just appeared, uh, exploded in the ballroom. I need details. What happened? Who do you think- Where's Ferris? He never made it to the interview. Wait, you're not going out there alone, are you? Stay with Alfred. He'll keep you safe. With these guests about, perhaps you should look for that uh, <clears throat> item in the wine cellar. You're right. Those men are armed. I'm going to have to take them down quietly if I don't want to get shot. <laughs> don't forget, I called dibs on those perks. I've taken them before we torch them.
must have the Wayne Mansion. The Waynes ruined the cobble pots back in the day. And so he said. That makes sense. You don't get to the top without stepping on a few heads, you know what I mean? Ain't nothing back there said more wine. Bordiops. Is that expensive? It's not Bordiops. It's Bordeaux. Oh, shot. So in that tunnel, sir. It's still suffering from the damage our visitor did on Christmas Eve. of your mechanized man. These hooligans are calling him Mr. Freeze. You might consider donning your extreme environment suit. The XE suit? It's not ready for deployment. Oh dear, I hear helicopters. More penguin brutes. Do hurry. Time to prep the XE suit for deployment. I'll need Alfred to put the finishing touches on it. I need to get back to the manor and find Ferris before Penguin's men do. Before you ask, the formula we used for your glue grenades was unstable. What was left after Christmas Eve was degraded into dust. the manor ablaze. I've managed to get most of the guests into the east and south wings, but... Hey, it's the butler! Alfred. Alfred!
no signal from Alfred. Silly jade statue, then, and I'm sure your employer will enjoy the hundreds of dollars it will garner on the black market. Hey, old timer, I only need a few hundred to do things on the ride. Oh, dear. You've burnt several hundred thousand dollars. safety, but the Wayne Crest is blocking the exit. Please, the Crest is blocking the way out. You have to move it so we can escape. This way. That was amazing. You just picked those goons apart. Shh, quiet! We've got Ferris Boyle in the next room. I... I think they're going to kill him! Sir, are you all right? Thanks to you, the hero of Christmas Eve come to rescue us from the... Can I trust you'll get these people to safety? Um, of course. Now that you've dealt with most of these hooligans... You should restore power to your sprinkler system to deal with these fires. Not to worry. I won't allow Wayne Manor to burn to the ground. Don't do this! Keep struggling, Boyle. Yeah, you wanna get shot? Mr. Freeze is on the way. Who did you say? Yep. 
picked the wrong fight. isn't the only one with a cryogenic weapon. This door is frozen shut. I'll need to enter the ballroom through the balcony. and our frozen friend made his escape. That's mission accomplished in my book. I do. Tie the counterpart loot and bug out. he taking Ferris? I... I don't know. I promise. Do you have any idea how many of your friends I sent to the hospital on Christmas Eve? Look, one of Penguin's dealers. He stole one out the weapons Freeze gave us. He must know. We were supposed to meet up in South Gotham. You can meet up in the emergency room instead. someone like Ferris Boyle. It's sickening. I know you'll bring him to justice, sir. I'll see this one wheeled into Blackgate on a gurney. Eight two dispatch. Confirming that code 3. Looks like these anarchy fanatics are taking advantage of the lack of police presence down here. Roger, eight two. Continue to monitor. Do not engage without backup. <laughs> No chance of that. I should deal with those anarchy followers. 
But first I need to track down Penguin's dealer and find out where Freeze has taken Ferris. Get shot? Uh, oh, you scared the crap out of me. Penguin's dealer is the key to finding Freeze. I should scan this area for clues that might tell me where he went. Whatever this substance is, it's slowly shutting his systems down, putting him into cryostasis. I won't be able to safely remove him from the ice without the thermal gloves built into the XE suit. The 
the officer just chanced upon Penguin's men. He wasn't equipped to deal with this cryotech, but the cryo gun was leaking. If I hurry, this trail will lead me right to Penguin's men. Then I can make them tell me where this tech came from. Alfred, Penguin's men are using cryogenic weapons to encase innocent people in ice. I'm going to need the thermal gloves and the XC suit to break them free. I'll get to work immediately, sir. Any idea where these weapons are coming from? I'll get that answer when I catch up with Penguin's dealer.
Fighters Freeze. You think I know? You plan on celebrating the new year in traction? Okay, okay. He, he made a deal with Penguin. Weapons in exchange for some stiff. Uh, uh, Ferris Boyle. He's in Gothcorp last I saw. You're lying. Gothcorp doesn't make weapons. What? No, I... Uh, Gothcorp, I swear. Look, I've got the entry codes. I'll take those. It doesn't make sense. Gothcorp involved in weapons tech. There's got to be more to this. on the bridge. Air 3, 1059 at Pioneer's Bridge. Possible 701. Air 3, en route. Hey, work for the mob. You are not one of the good guys. Stupid cops. Have a taste of the people's justice. <sighs>
That's the guy! That's... Good thing, boss. What are you going to do with me? You? <laughs> Assuming your friend keeps cooperating, I'm sure we won't have to do anything, you know, drastic. Go in the head! Ah! Ah! I'm the victim here! Those men were armed. How'd you do that? Where are they taking Ferris? Mr. Boyle? They, uh, they're heading to the propellant research wing. These guys have been raiding the whole facility. Do you have the codes to this security door? No, I don't have clearance. But my boss does. A bunch of them took him to the organics lab, through the lobby. I'll make sure they don't hurt your boss. Get yourself to safety. Why so shy all of a sudden, huh? What happened to that spirit of sharing? I... I'm cooperating! I'm cooperating! I know, I know, but we all got jobs, see? And, and my job... Uh, I don't think you're telling me the truth! I told you there are no weapons here! It's just plants! Tissue research! Yeah, you said it. Then... You believe me? You know what? I do. I do believe you. But to be honest... I just really love my job. Oh, God.
you see that? you on GNN. You just saved my life. You have codes I need to access the propellant research wing. I do. Here. Take them. You're going to save Mr. Boyle, right? It's not safe inside Gothcorp. You need to get out of here. Don't worry. I won't be hanging around. And, uh, thanks, you know? Not just for me. For Gotham. Go on, I'll be all right. Mr. Boyle needs your help. to see you explain this brilliant plan.
trouble if we can't get to him. You think Penguin's gonna let this blue skin freak get the drop on him? You're crazy. Listen, I don't want to be the guy who didn't show up when Penguin called. Let's just figure out a way to get in there. Fueling process initiated. Crime oh! Engaged. Hey. Safety protocols in effect. Oh! Boil or I'll freeze this entire room. Oh, I know you won't. Boyle's got the code you need, and I ain't giving him up. Let's all get what he's giving you. What's behind this door is of no interest to you. What I'm interested in is the weapons I would trust. I know you're holding out on me. This will not end well for you. Oh, I think you're confused about what exactly is about to happen. As soon as you show us that big beast. <laughs> to let him go. Rats are meaningless to a man who has lost everything. <laughs> Freeze after. Why does he need Boyle? Boyle's got codes he needs to access some kind of super weapon. And now you let him have it! That ice is the only thing saving you from getting the beating you deserve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, you ought to save our friend Mr. Boyle, yeah? But you'll never break through this ice. Gothcorp has a device. It's uh, uh, like a drill. A cryo drill. Tell me where it is. I had my men bring all our uh, acquisitions to the My Alibi nightclub. For safekeeping, of course. Then you better hope your men are still at my alibi. If I want to break through this barrier of ice, I'd better get to the My Alibi nightclub before Penguin's men decide to relocate. Emergency. Propellant research wing. Warning. Critical failure in propellant research wing. Please evacuate. Without the XE suit, I'd never survive in that cloud of cryo vapor. Stage 
Cryo-vapor is lethal. I'll need the XC suit if I hope to survive inside one of these clouds. Fix this situation, or my friends and I are gonna fix you! Understand? Okay, okay. Uh oh Just... The bank found Just let me think. Oh. Incredible! Come with me. I'm getting you out of here. Thanks for getting me out of there. What are you gonna do now? After I've recovered the cryo drill, I'm coming back here to save Ferris. But isn't Freeze gonna try to stop you? With any luck. Alfred, what's the status of the XC suit? I've just finished loading it into a drop container. Good news. I'm on my way to my alibi to recover a stolen cryogenic drill. Have the Batwing drop it there. It's on its way. Incoming, sir. Gloves should help you deal with most ice you encounter, sir. And the suit will provide. Sir, I suggest you deal with the last of these activists as soon as you're able. The honeycomb structure insulates against extreme cold without increasing weight. It won't slow me down a bit.
I mean, I thought last year we said we were gonna take a trip. I can use a thermocharged batarang to bring that ice down on top of those thugs. How's he doing that? Uh -huh. If I thermocharge a batarang, I can use it to knock out that frozen security lock. said to sell off the parts. It's in pieces. Where are they? I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Just don't drop me off a roof, okay? Maybe next time. Sir, your map has been updated with the locations of the components you'll need to rebuild the cryogenic drill. Thanks, Alfred. I'm on it. is a prison and the police its wardens to protect and serve their motto goes and they do protect and serve themselves we live in fear of their gaze their billy clubs and guns when they walk down the streets we avert our eyes we tremble when they speak who are these people really what drives them is it justice honor no they want power, and the badge gives it to them. As if there isn't enough going on tonight. Damn it, the bombs are still active. There must be a second failsafe detonator nearby. I don't have much time. Out in this stupid. Uh, anyone see that? This bag, too. That's 
the tent four. Tell the good captain we are in. Susan's boat to cover his trail. I told you to watch your back, didn't I? Where are you? I've assembled the cryo drill, but it requires some kind of superconducting fluid to operate. Ah, here it is, sir. An organic supercoolant used in an experimental lab run by one Victor Freeze. As in Mr. Freeze. It seems too great a coincidence to ignore. It says here that Ferris had Mr. Freeze's lab shut down. If he's a disgruntled employee out for revenge, then this is about more than just stealing weapons tech. The Freeze's lab is under quarantine. Some kind of accident. I'm on my way back to Gothcorp now. Thanks. 
actually gonna book him. So what? He goes to Blackgate? Big deal. Blackgate? Yeah, prison, man. He's done. in the organics lab. Lockdown protocols in effect. Watch for him! to evacuate this lab of cryovapor before the lockdown protocol on this door is disengaged. <laughs> he can't get to us. Not while the lab's full of cryo. Think we're safe, so long as that cryo tank keeps pumping out baby. We can't get in here with all that. Safe. If you manage to get the fans back on, that'll put the 
emergency. Please engage manual reactor shutdown. Now's our chance. Get in there and blow the hell! Thermocharged Batarang could break up the ice encasing that vantage. Trouble!
to evacuate this lab of cryovapor before the lockdown protocol on this door is disengaged. Super coolant from Victor's lab to activate the cryo drill. There's more going on here than a simple accident. This security guard's skin has the same blue coloration as Freeze's. I should set up a crime scene. Data analysis indicates that he died from heat stroke, but the control room doesn't show signs of overheating. This is some kind of crystallized chemical residue. Traces lead back into the lab. here. I should scan for more evidence. Two men struggled. One of them ran out of the lab. That would be the dead security guard I found. prints are a match for Victor Freeze. He must have watched the security guard die. Freeze scavenged what he needed from various prototypes to build himself a super-cooled survival suit. pressure built up inside the tank when ice sealed these outtakes. It appears that this guard was frozen by the cryo vapors from the resulting explosion.
The evidence suggests the guard was frozen before the tank ruptured, perhaps by Frieza's cryocannon. These DNA traces are a match for Victor Freeze. Spatter analysis suggests a blunt impact. Someone assaulted Freeze with a weapon. The cannon was knocked over and fired. When the tank exploded, it released a plume of cryochemicals. The plume enveloped Freeze and the guard, but the shockwave knocked the assailant clear. I need to find that weapon. It may have evidence I can use to identify the assailant. DNA analysis confirms the gun was used to bludgeon Victor Freeze, and fingerprint analysis shows Ferris Boyle. It was Ferris. Something was wheeled through this fluid, possibly a gurney. The fluid must have frozen almost immediately for these tracks to have been preserved. was secretly doing research on Huntington's Korea, but this is a cryogenic weapons lab. The test subject was Nora Freeze. Now I know what happened here. Boyle hired Victor to help advance the secret cryoweapons program within Gothcorp. In exchange, Boyle agreed to devote Gothcorp resources to finding a cure for Nora's Huntington's. But Boyle was more interested in how Victor had managed to put Nora into cryostasis. Victor realized that Boyle had no intention of following through on their deal. He decided to do the Huntington's research himself. But Boyle didn't like that. The cryochemical cocktail altered Victor's metabolism, as well as the guards. Boyle escaped ahead of the plume and had the lab quarantined. Victor survived, but he knew that leaving the supercooled lab would kill him. So he built himself a suit and utilized an organic supercoolant to keep his core temperature sub-zero. All this violence. He's just trying to save his dying wife. The supercoolant Victor uses in his suit is the same fluid I need for the cryo drill. Send Gordon the evidence I've gathered on Boyle's crimes. I'm sorry, Master Bruce. I know you had high hopes for what Ferris could do for Gotham. That doesn't matter now. Victor's plan was never to kill Boyle. He needs Boyle's security access to get his wife out of Gothcorp. That's all he wants. And now, you're going to stop him? I have to. And are you still going to need that gurney? I am. But not for Victor. You know what I'm gonna do when I get out of here? I'm gonna have candy pour me a nice hot bath. And then I'm gonna drown you in it! Uh, I'm trying, boss. This ice is tough. Oh, you completely and utterly dead! Get over here, you nasty bugger! Put your scrawny little neck in my hand so I can strangle some sensitive! Boss, you gotta calm down. Oh, my
Nora and leave. I'm not giving you the code. I'll see you both dead before I give you a damn thing. Victor, you have to let him go. I'm taking my wife. You can't stop me. I know the truth, and so will the police. Boyle will face judgment for his crimes. It, it was an accident! You don't know what you're talking about! Nothing matters, do you understand? Nothing but my Nora! You've endangered lives all over this city. Nora would never have wanted this. No. What she wants is to live a long life in the warmth of the sun. Her hand in mine. But because of him, she'll only feel the icy touch of a man whose emotions run as cold as the blood in his veins. Where are the rest of you? Get in here and honor our bargain. Uh, you can overload those cryogenerators using your thermal gloves. Look for the control panel. You should be helping me, Batman, not fighting me. Found him! Smoke will not cast your feet, Batman. See how well you do when the air freezes in your lungs. Fuck. 
account for forcing my hand. That room is filled with ice formations, Master Bruce. I suggest you use them to your advantage. Oh, Batman, come out and do what you came to do. Search the area! Incompetent. Hmm? Have your 
lost your resolve, I remain a strong attitude. Search the area! Underneath him, I can take him from below. Containment failure in capsule one. Prime subject, Nora Breeze, in danger. My armor. I've almost got him. You shouldn't have stuck your nose in my business. And here I thought I was going to have a problem explaining what happened in your lab. I mean, the police are never going to look at me after what you did. And with this bat freak dead, there won't be anyone left to say otherwise. Cryogenic containment failing. Oh. And that just leaves you. Please. You can save her. You just have to buy past the trial of her. Victor! She died! But oh. I'll keep you alive long enough to see her go! Go!
breaking news out of North Gotham at this hour where protest has turned to celebration. Under extreme pressure from Gotham's citizens, Mayor Hill has just announced his resignation. While Hill has not ruled out a possible run for re-election in the new year, his resignation means that Peter Grogan will likely not be the next police commissioner of Gotham. Speculation has already begun about who the new mayor will appoint as commissioner, with many pundits naming GCPD Captain James Gordon as the frontrunner. And now to South Gotham, where Vicki Vale brings us this live report. Thanks, Janine. I'm standing at the corporate headquarters of Goth Corp, where Captain Gordon has confirmed that Goth Corp CEO Ferris Boyle has been taken into police custody. Police report that Mr. Boyle stands accused of manslaughter, extortion, and attempted murder. Shocking accusations given that just earlier tonight, he accepted the Wayne Foundation's award for Humanitarian of the Year. Also in custody is the notoriously elusive underworld crime boss Oswald Cobblepot, better known as the Penguin as well as a Gothcorp cryogenicist, Victor Fries. Mr. Fries is being held under heavy guard at Gotham General, receiving treatment for an undisclosed medical condition. Quincy Sharp has suggested that Mr. Fries is yet another example of the type of criminal that needs the specialized care that only Arkham Asylum can provide. Police credit these arrests to solid police work, but this reporter suspects the vigilante known as the Batman had more than a small role to play. On a personal note, I owe Batman a debt of gratitude for rescuing me from almost certain death earlier this evening. So, thank you, Batman. For all of us. Back to you, Janine. Thanks, Vicky. The Batman continues to be one of the top stories this holiday season. So as we here at GNN wish you all a happy and safe New Year's Eve, we'll leave you with just a few of the comments you've made about Gotham's caped crusader. I was surrounded. Next thing you know, bam, boom, kapow! The bastards are all on the ground, KO'd. I didn't even see him coming. Oh, it was all a blur. He just whooshed in out of nowhere. Listen, I'm a cop. I can't condone what he does, but I can be grateful he's doing it. Oh, he's real all right. I got the bruises to prove it. He's real, he's ruthless, and there ain't nothing in the world that's gonna stop him. 